Okay, so today is day three of Cotton's training. We started him a couple of days ago, and I'm doing a hundred days of stock dog training. So this is day three. Um, today I'm gonna introduce his direction commands. Um, we're gonna keep the stop in, and what I'm gonna do is for his direction commands, I'm gonna say the verbal cue and then pressure him but before I pressure him, I'm going to wait just a split second because I want him to start um, paying attention to the verbal cue. And I feel like if I say the command and then pressure him really quick, that he's going to just not even acknowledge the verbal command. So I'm going to say, come by, wait a split second, then pressure him so he'll start to connect the two. And I'm going to do this on a routine. Um... I'm not going to send him, come by, stop him, and then away, stop, come by, stop, away, stop. I'm not going to do that because I found with um, some past dogs that I've trained that they will um, they'll down and then they immediately want to pick up and take the opposite direction. But maybe I needed them to come by, stop, and then keep coming by. Um, but because of the way I drilled them, they'll come by, stop, and then immediately go away. Um, and vice versa. So nowadays I'm I'm keeping it fresh. I'm not constantly flip-flopping. I'll send them on the same direction like three or four times even after downing them three or four times. Um, I'm gonna throw in a couple stop commands still um, but I'm gonna check his sanctioning. Of course before we go in I want him to come in polite and I want to walk around the goat pen polite and respectful. So um, that's what we're gonna check on today gonna add the verbal direction commands the stop and then we should end the lesson so i hope you enjoyed the first two videos um you know like and subscribe like this video like the page um all that kind of stuff so let's get caught and let's get to training Come here. Cotton.
really good today we introduced his directions and kind of went a little slow um, so I offered him to bite the goats um, just to kind of get him a little more jazzed up but starting to sniff the ground when he was getting tired so I offered him to come in and bite um, which he's being really respectful and I know that I can get him to call off so I, I offered him that um, he was kind of being a little um, I wouldn't say hard-headed he's never been asked a direction so when I would give him the direction and he'd stand there I'd pressure him a little bit more with the rake to like actually hey listen to my voice commands um, I'm not just over here like talking you know 
so we'll see how he does tomorrow. Um, but overall, really happy with him. Um, like seeing him bite, like seeing him get excited and pick up the pace. And uh, yeah, I also forgot that this dog I'm gonna put on a left and right. Day three, another good day. We'll see you guys.